Dave Sherry was riding his bike when he was knocked off by an uninsured driver and it's changed his life completely. Dave, thank you for joining us. Just take us back to what happened to you. Yeah, about four years ago, I was riding home, being a London bus driver, and I was knocked off by an uninsured HGV driver. Um, left me with permanent disability, which I have to live with for the rest of my life. And basically, um, there is nothing in law to actually stop these individuals leaving the country. He produced a false, fake um, green card and uh, escape justice. The only way I got justice was through civil claims for personal injuries through Dun & Co solicitors. So things on the road are pretty damn lawless. And as Nick was saying previously, there's a lot of plea bargain going on. Lots of didn't see the cyclists, third off if they go guilty. That needs to stop. We need to have a more robust approach to road safety and accountability because of the drivers. And I'm believing on this occasion that, yeah, lock them up, maybe five, ten years as a minimum, depending on the severity of the um, offence and the standard of driving. And also crush the car and take their assets, just to put it in perspective. Dave, we're really grateful to you for joining us here on, on the show. Tell us, if you can, uh, about the extent of your injuries, how it's impacted your life uh, and just to be clear, you're saying the driver in your case got away completely scot-free? Yeah, didn't even get a notice of intended prosecution because once they leave the country, they can't be served a prosecution notice and there's nothing in UK driving law that says they have to be extradited back to the UK to face a non imprisonable offence. So if you get it by a foreign driver, you've got to interesting situation to deal with. Your experience has turned you into a campaigner against dangerous driving. Tell us how you campaign. Well, last week I was out in an operation and quite distraught by how many professional drivers were going the wrong side of a pedestrian crossing and the wrong side of an island with oncoming traffic. Um, it's getting very lawless out there. Um, there will be more deaths and there is no actual deterrent to stop them. What we have already, it's not working. Deaths are still transpiring. We've got Vision Zero coming up. We need to think out the box on this occasion. There's, as Nick will say, there's various degrees of accountability. Every driver should be able to see a cyclist, unless they're blind, and they should be driving. So the way I see it is, if a cyclist is wearing the high vis and everything else, they need the full protection of the law. Sometimes, with regard to my situation, I was let down thoroughly. Even the traffic cops, who I knew quite well, couldn't do nothing. Their hands were tired. So these MPs need to pull their finger out and actually get with the routine and do what the people want. And we want swift, fast justice. Fast track the courts, take their cars off them, take their licence off them until the actual guilty plea or not guilty. It needs to happen. We need to get these individuals taken off the road with immediate effect. 